Nigeria has been called many things and the world sees Nigeria in many different ways but I believe that Nigeria has the greatest potential for business development because where there are problems there are businesses Kellogg's company sold cornflakes for years and one day while they were making cornflakes somebody at the plant had a box of raisins and they put the raisins in the cornflakes and they ate it and they said mmm and then was born raisin cornflakes sometime the greatest inventions are a result of a mistake please make a mistake and put coconut in fufu stop seeing a rat as a rat see it as a business God never solved problems traditionally number five he challenged man to think beyond his experience every time God encountered a man he challenges that man to think beyond his experience but Walt Disney had a dream he turned a dream into a reality last night my wife and I were sitting here with the rest of the pastors and I don't know if you saw but a rat ran across the stage <laughs> now in Nigeria you think rats are terrible and you would scorn at a rat but Walt Disney one day saw a rat <laughs> when you see a rat you see a pest when you see a rat you see a rodent when you see a rat you see sickness and germs Walt Disney saw the same rat and he saw a business today millions of people every single day pay millions of dollars to go to Disney World to see a rat His name is Mickey Mouse. You see, there are businesses all through your house running around. Vision is the capacity to see a business in a rat. Maybe someone could develop <laughs> a roach park. In Nigeria you laugh at that I'm thinking about it personally if Disney could turn a rat into billions of dollars a year why can't we turn an African roach into a billion dollars a month you have to be able to see business it's not about money it's about vision it's about innovation there is wealth sitting in Nigeria because where there are many problems there are many businesses the solution to the problems are right in the problem we normally look for business my challenge to you is to look for the problem in order to live like this you must be able to see 
differently. This today at lunch, we had fufu. And I was looking for raisins. There was no raisin in the fufu. There was no coconut in the fufu. Because you see, your tradition is there's only one way to make fufu. But not everybody who eats fufu may want fufu the way you were brought up. I want fufu with raisins. No one has never yet given me fufu with raisins. I like raisins with my fufu. I am not from your country, so I need a little bit of sweetness in my fufu. You could export a million dollars worth of fufu to the Bahamas every year, but you must put raisins in it. But you see, your tradition says no raisin. Challenge you to study your country and identify the problems and create a big business. Stand up on your feet right where you are. Lift those hands, if you will, with me right now and ask God to forgive you for just using your eyes. Ask God to forgive you for just seeing things as they are and not as they could be. Ask God to forgive you for waiting for other people to bring you wealth and for not using your creative, innovative spirit to create wealth. Ask God to help you to see the way he sees. Come on, lift your voice and thank him today that you will change your situation into a productive business. Thank you, Father God. I believe today there are many Walt Disney's in this room right now. I believe today that there are Walmarts in this room being born right now. I believe that there are Bill Gates in this room who will leave here and study problems and bring solutions. I believe out of the church shall grow some of the most successful businesses in the world. I believe that you will begin the beginning of that great move of business people in the world. I believe that poverty will be destroyed by creativity. I believe that poverty will be destroyed by creativity. I believe that poverty will be destroyed by creativity. I believe that poverty will be destroyed by creativity. Lift your hands and thank God you will become one of those members of God's innovative army. You will bring solution to problems. If you believe that, shout and give Him praise right where you are. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. With your hands up, I want to make a declaration in Jesus' name. Father, I declare that the spirit of small thinking is being broken right now. Father, I declare that the spirit of creativity is rising on the inside of your people. Father, I declare that the spirit of vision is rising from the hearts of your people. Father, I declare that solutions to the problems in the nations of Africa are being solved by people in this room right now. Father, I declare that Satan will no longer clog up our dreams, but you will maximize our vision and we will bring solutions to Africa. I declare that the world will be filled with the glory of God. I declare that businesses shall prosper like never before. And Lord, I declare that those who are in business now, they will go back and have new dreams fresh dreams and unique dreams to make their businesses a matchless success. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Give the Lord a praise.